sat on a stool behind the band, clutching his drumsticks in his hand. Though his drumming was pretty poor, he was one of the Fab Four. In 62, who would have guessed John and Paul would sack Pete Best for Ringo. Ringo. When they auditioned at EMI, George Martin said, Who's that guy? No one there could disagree. He banged and bashed like a chimpanzee. He didn't play the drums, it's true. Just tambourine on Love Me Do. Poor Ringo. Ringo. Their fame began to quickly spread, they grew the hair upon their head. The Ringo's nose was like a pig's, the girls went wild at concert gigs. Good thing you could only hear Paul's bass, cause the drumming was all over the place. That's Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. He couldn't drum or write or sing, so what to the group did he bring? Still he had some wild ambition and tried his hand at composition. But he will never get no pardon for writing Octopus's Garden, Ringo. Ringo, Ringo. The four broke up in 68. Solo careers for three were great. But Ringo's hits were pretty lean. Just photograph and you were 16. He would have gone right down the drain had it not been for Thomas the Train, for Ringo. Ringo. The years of playing rock and roll by then had really taken their toll. With goatee beard and hair in a plait, he looked like Yasser Arafat. But a question burns each time I look. How did they succeed with a drummer as crook as Ringo? <laughs>